Well, hello, welcome back to the channel. Uh, good to be here. Uh, where here is, is a place called Carling Nose Point, which is just along from kind of North Queen's Ferry and the Force Rail Bridge. They're just around that way somewhere. Uh, and I've come to photograph this thing here. It's an old munitions pier from World War One, And uh, yeah, might try some long exposures. We're starting to get a colour in the sky, I think, so we'll see what happens. All right, admin, as always, um, if you could, if you enjoy this content, if you would uh, please like, please subscribe, hit the little bell icon down the corner, and please leave some comments. I'd really like to hear from you. Okay, let's press on. So that's me all set up for the first shot now, and as you can see, I've got the camera right down really low. Um, reason for this is I want to get these rocks here in the foreground. So um, what I'll do, I'll try a couple of shots. Okay, first off I'll just take this shot exactly as it is. Let me switch this, uh, this movie on so you can see it. Okay, there you go, you can see uh, we've got the... Why don't I crouch down and make myself look a bit more respectable? We've got the, the pier here and I'll just try and line up the horizon with the rule of thirds here and I've got the rocks in the foreground. Now really my camera is down as low as it'll go and it's still got this kind of big vast area of sea in the middle here but I think we'll just have to live with that. Uh, I quite like having the pier just sitting up there on the horizon like that. It's quite nice. So that's me sitting at kind of 60 mils or so. So what we'll do, we'll just take the shot straight off and then I'll go on with the next one. Okay. So here we go, switch the movie off. Focus on the pier and grab the shot. One, two, three, click. So I'm on the second shot now, and uh, exactly the same composition we had before with the rocks in the foreground here um, and the pier just kind of sitting on the horizon. Except what I'm going to do this time is use this thing, which is a, a variable ND filter. Now I think the tide is coming in. I thought the tide was due to it was on its way out, but I may be wrong here. It looks like it's getting a bit deeper, and the fourth gets deep really quick. So anyway, ND filter. I'm going to put it on, as I say, exactly the same composition as we had before. So that's on there like that. I'll turn it a bit darker. No, I won't. In fact, I'll tell you what I'll do first. <laughs> right, before I do all that, I'm going to focus on the pier. And I'm going to switch to manual focus. Okay, now I'm going to put the filter on. Okay, right, and that has given me a time, an exposure time of about four seconds. So hopefully we should get the water washing over the uh, the rocks in the foreground here. So off we go. Oops, try not press the movie button, Douglas. Try and press the take the picture button. There we go. Off we go. One, two, three, click. So I'm all set up for another shot now, kind of similar style, right down low, 
looking across these rocks in the foreground again and uh, I've actually got them kind of, if I can put the movie on here so you can see what we're talking about this big rock here kind of taking up the space up in this corner here uh, the other rocks are just kind of filling in the foreground here I suspect this will be a 16 by 9 I'll probably edit it down to there so again without any further ado no I won't, with further ado because in my pocket here I've got my in one of my pockets here I've got my thing my filter so let me just do exactly as I did before I'm going to focus oops, I'm going to switch the movie off because I have to focus up okay focus on the pier again okay switch it to manual focus and then I shall put on with a bit of luck see I've just got this cheap as a gobi filter I don't think it's even called gobi anymore or something else so if I do break it I'm not going to be like Lindsay and cry over spilt milk I'll just buy another one for 20 quid or so anyway right that's that let's give me an exposure time of about 3 seconds or so 3.2 seconds I'm at f11 and the waves are coming in so I'm going to grab this shot quickly here we go One, two, three. click I'm all set up for my next shot now um, and I've got the camera in vertical mode portrait mode, whatever you want to call it um, longer on the upside uh, and I'm going to be getting a picture of the um, of the pier again and I want to leave quite a lot of space in the top reason being, every year I put together a, a calendar just for friends and family, you know um, and I was at a family event last weekend and uh, my auntie said to me, how come you never put it in anywhere I know in Fife? So, the front cover here is going to be Carlingo's Pier, hopefully, if I get this shot right. So that'll be the front cover of my calendar for the friends and family. I'm not sure, let me know in the comments, if I should open it up and actually sell it this year. I can't decide. But uh, yeah, let me know what you think. Right, anyway, here's this, this will be the front cover of my camera. Let me put the movie on. And you can see what we're looking at. As I said, we've got all this kind of gap up the top here um, and plenty of rocks down the bottom as well. So I'll get like the, the name up the top, Dougie Mill Photography, and down the bottom we'll have a My Scotland, I think it's what I usually call the camera, something like that. Okay, so there's the pier in the middle as well. So that's what we're looking at. Nice, simple shot. See if I turn that down, will you be able to see the rocks? No, you can't. I wondered, maybe not. I'm sitting at F10, okay. Uh, I have got on the rule of thirds, I always have the rule of thirds and I've got the horizon right along the rule of thirds here uh, I did want to try and raise it a little bit so that we had the more of the sea in the middle but I don't think that's going to happen somehow uh, it might be a bit of a mess anyway however, we do have plenty of rocks in the foreground which are still quite nice so what I'll do, I'm just going to switch that off I've taken the, um, the filter off the front and I'm just going to go directly for uh, an ordinary shot here uh, not a not kind of fine arty long exposure type one okay so that's switched off once again focus on the pier plenty of rocks in the foreground and let's just grab the shot one two three click So I've uh, got a similar shot set up to that last one that I took so I've just moved the camera 
down again so that I've got, if I switch on this, uh, this movie again, uh, you can see that we've got these rocks here in the foreground taking up a lot of space again and not a great deal of space on the um, on the water which is good because that's what I wanted to avoid we are starting to get a wee bit of colour in the sky as well which again is quite nice so again let's just do exactly the same again switch the movie off focus up focus on the pier this time come on Douglas you know you can do it there that's it and I'm at, oh, I might have 16, don't want to have 16. Put it back down to F11, 1 30 of a second. There we go. 1, 2, 3, click. That's it, I'm going to call it a night at that. Um, I think I've taken four or five shots of the pier now and uh, you're probably bored watching them to be honest. So, uh, oh before I go on, I should point out that this is vlog number 53, so uh, the vlog is a year old today. Except for that wee bit where I moved from Tuesdays to, uh, to Sundays a few weeks ago, but yeah, year old today. So thanks for your, thanks for watching over the last year, thanks for your support. If you have enjoyed it, if you're new to the channel, yeah, please do the usual, please like, please subscribe, please hit the little bell icon down in the corner, and please, please, I'd love to hear your comments down below. Uh, let me know, should I put my calendar up for sale to the general public, or should I just send it out to my friends and family like I always do? Alright, let me know. If I get the right answer, I'll start asking for pre-orders in the next few weeks. Alright, well, that's fine. I'll see you on the next one. Bye for now. Cheers.